Hello and welcome to the Go Vita podcast, the show dedicated to bringing you the latest and greatest wellness advice so that you can enjoy the health and vitality that you deserve. Marcus Pierce here with you, CEO of the Wellness Couch Podcast Network. Judy, it's a very warm welcome to the Go Vita podcast. Thank you, Marcus. My pleasure to be here. Judy, in the wellness space is that so many people when a symptom um, persists, um, particularly in the wellness industry, they go straight to their diet. They almost look to food as a magic bullet for a health condition and often they get to the point where it stresses them out that the diet isn't improving their health. But as you say, as you talk about vitamin B5, naturally I'm like, okay, well, vitamin B5 is going to be in, in food. So for those people that are like, well, maybe I'll just have more vitamin B5 in my diet and we'll talk in a moment about what foods are high in vitamin B5. Um, What's your view on this? Is acne as simple as improving diet? Don't get me wrong, acne is proven to be related in a certain degree to diet. So if you improve your diet, it certain helps to support and, and improve the severity of acne. But interestingly, it doesn't actually stop your acne. So what we find is people who are prone to acne, even they make diet changes alone, it doesn't stop the acne, but supplementation of nutrients that like, for example, vitamin B5 and the ones that we specifically selected in our, ingre- in our formulations does help stop mm-hmm. Acne. So we, we really suspect that people prone to acne, they obviously ha- are prone to deficiency of certain e- essential nutrients, including vitamin B5, your zinc, your vitamin A, your biotin, and all sorts of things. Uh, m- probably it's because their body, their body type, it has a higher demand of certain um, vitamins and minerals to be able to maintain the internal body functions, including skin health. 